Hey, this is Stefan from ProjectLifeMastery.com and today I'm gonna to share with you guys how to make passive income from Amazon. Now, the great thing is, is that Amazon is one of the easier business models out there that you can make passive income from. And that's primarily because Amazon does a lot for you. So Amazon is the platform that has millions and millions of customers that use Amazon to buy products. They already have their Amazon account. They already have their credit card linked in their Amazon account. And so when they come across your product, someone just presses on the buy button, a one-click buy, automatically makes the purchase for them. They don't have to enter their credit card information again. Amazon automatically ships the product to the customer because they store the products in their Amazon fulfillment centers, their warehouses. They handle the shipping process for you so that you don't have to. That money, that sale automatically gets associated to your Amazon Seller Central account and Amazon will send you the payment every two weeks minus the fees that they take as a direct deposit right into your bank account. Great thing is Amazon also handles a lot of the customer support, the refund process and whatnot, sending back the product. Um, they even can handle a lot of the marketing and promotion for you as well because if your product's doing well, they'll promote the product on Amazon's website, they'll recommend it next to other Amazon listings, they'll rank it higher up in their search engine. They do a lot for you and that's the great thing because if you were to sell your product outside of Amazon, you're gonna to have to have the website, you're gonna to have to have the payment processor, you're gonna to have to uh, you know, be able to receive uh, that money and then ship the product, deliver it to them, do the customer support. There's a lot more that you have to do. You have more control and you end up making more money long term from it, but Amazon does a lot for you, so that's why Amazon is the best place to start, right? And then as you start selling on Amazon, you can also build your own website, your own brand, et cetera, as well. That's a different conversation for a different time though, okay? So passive income, guys, is when you're making money on autopilot. It's coming in 24 seven a day, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. You know, Tatiana and I uh, recently just traveled for a month and we didn't work that much during that month, but because we built online businesses on Amazon, I've got, you know, YouTube videos and affiliate marketing and courses and products. Because I've built all of these passive income vehicles, even when I'm on vacation, I'm still making money. In fact, right now, as I'm sitting here recording this video for you guys right now, I have people that are buying my products and that's automatically getting deposited into my bank account. And that's happening as I'm recording this video, it's happening as I'm traveling the world, it happens when I sleep at night. It's like this machine that doesn't stop. It, it, it just continuously, um, you know, continues on until it can eventually stop. It can die off, of course, and we'll discuss that as well. But for the most part, as long as you maintain the machine and you sustain it, it continues producing for you. So here's the way that I look at uh, an Amazon business or really any passive income stream. It's kind of like a seed that you're planting in the soil, okay? You're gonna take a, a product that you're gonna potentially sell on Amazon. You can private label it, you can source it, and I can share more about the process with you guys. But you're gonna find a product that uh, there's a high demand on Amazon that you could potentially sell. There's a market for it, people are searching for it. And uh, you know it's a product that is an interest or passion for you. Uh, it's one that you are in, in a niche or market that you're gonna enjoy, okay? And a, a great product that maybe you can differentiate, stand out a little bit from as well. So that's a product you're gonna go and say, I'm gonna to try to find suppliers in China or other parts of the world, maybe through Alibaba, maybe just searching on Google, but I'm gonna to try to find suppliers that are already making this product, that I can buy it from them at a cheap wholesale cost, and I can maybe customize it or differentiate in some way, and then I'm gonna put my logo, my packaging on it, I'm gonna pay them to produce the manufacture of the product for me and then ship it to Amazon's fulfillment centers so that I can set up my Amazon listing, list it and Amazon handles all the fulfillment, the shipping, all that sort of stuff, okay? That, and then that shows the product. That is a seed that you're planting in the ground. That's how I want you to think about it, guys. You plant that seed in the ground and it's not gonna sprout overnight. It's not, you're not gonna get rich quick. It's not like you're gonna all of a sudden make all this money just like this, even if you have an Amazon product up there. You have to water the seed. You've gotta be consistent with it, right? You gotta put in some work, just like your Amazon business. You gotta consistently put in some work to build it up 
and, and, and strengthen it and build it and turn it into that passive income stream. So with that seed, guys, you're watering it, you're nurturing it, you're taking care of it. And in order for that seed to sprout and turn into something, you've got to put it, you've got to be consistent and take good care of it. Now, you have to also have patience because it's not going to happen right away. But you have to understand that as you're watering that seed, guys, there's things that are happening underground that you can't yet see. There's roots, there's a foundation that is being grown that will allow you to sustain the future success that you're gonna have. And sure enough, when you're consistent with it and you have that patience and you go through the process, then it starts to sprout. You start to see your product on Amazon and you start to see maybe some sales come in. And at that time, guys, that's when you really gotta make sure that you're taking good care of it. That's when you really gotta make sure you nurture it and support its growth. And as you support it, guys, it continues to grow and grow and grow until eventually it becomes this incredible tree that is growing fruits. And it doesn't require as much of your effort. It doesn't require the maintenance that it once had at the beginning because now it's, it's turned into something that's strong enough to support itself. And it can provide for you consistently over a long period of time. That's passive income, guys. That's passive income in an Amazon business is at first it's gonna require the effort a lot more yeah, at the beginning than any other time, right? Because you have to build it. You have to turn it into something. You have to make it into a success. But once you've built it and you built a product that's selling, you built a product that's ranking on Amazon for keywords, you built a product that's got sufficient enough reviews, you built it, it's got that foundation where it's not just making money once in a while, it's sustainably making money, right? Maybe you even have some external sources of traffic that are automatically sending people to your listing as well. Maybe you've got Amazon ads turned on, you've got different ways you're funneling into that, and so therefore, that product can now provide back for you without much maintenance and work required for it. That's the process of how to make passive income on Amazon. Now, the truth is, is there such a thing as 100% passive income? Not really, okay, because here's the thing. Let's say you build up your Amazon product and it's selling great, making you money. Let's say you decide just to forget about it for a year. It might still be making you money by the end of the year, but if you're not really proactively growing it and, and, and maybe maintaining it at least, then it might either stagnate or slowly diminish and drop because as there's more competitors that come in and they're willing to put in work to compete with you or changes could occur on Amazon and whatnot, that you know, it, it's not gonna continue to grow. Maybe in some cases it could, but long term, year after year, it's gonna slowly diminish and die down. And so that's why, and that's by the way the case for most business models out there. Okay, there's no 100% passive income that really exists. The only real 100% passive income that I personally look at are stocks that pay dividends uh, because I really, you know, especially blue chip, large cap stocks, I can just set it and forget it. Not, there's basically no maintenance in that whatsoever. So um, your, your Amazon business guys can provide that passive income, but here's what I recommend is to maintain it, right? To check in on it, to still, you know, have certain things you do to help maintain it at least at minimum, even maybe potentially grow it. That could be a few hours a week. That could be a few hours a month. I'm not sure. It depends. But really, you have to understand that once you build it up, it's not going to require as much, but it will still require a bit still to maintain it. I've got the one business on Amazon selling supplements. Guys, I'm not even really involved in that business anymore. I've got other businesses that I do. And so this business, I've just kind of just let it run out. And you know what? It still provides a great passive income for me. And that's awesome, that's cool. I don't have to do anything for it. I'm not, I'm intentionally trying to let it run out so that I, because I have other projects and stuff I'm gonna focus my energy on. But I'm still amazed it's consistently been providing a passive income for me for years with hardly any effort involved in it, okay? Now, there are a few things you are gonna have to actively do and I'll share with you what those are, okay? Either you do it, or you can hire someone else to do it, in which case you can outsource it so that way it is more passive for you. One thing is you're gonna to have to reorder your inventory. Okay, so if you're running out of stock, running out of units to sell, you're gonna to have to reach out to your supplier. You're gonna to have to reorder that, create shipping labels, and get that shipped to Amazon. Okay, if you get really good at managing your inventory, you might determine that's every three months. 
Okay, every three months, you'll spend a few hours to be able to do that. Another thing is customer support. This is something that is important. Amazon does handle a lot of customer support for you, but there is some that you still have to uh, deal with where customers will send you messages on Amazon or email you that it's your responsibility and Amazon expects this of you to respond to people in a timely manner. In fact, if you don't respond to people, Amazon will actually, uh, you know, it, Actually, they'll potentially shut you down if you're not responding to people and, and being responsible with that. They usually give you warnings and whatnot first, but eventually if you're consistent, because for Amazon, you gotta understand they're their customers, and Amazon, they want people to have a positive customer experience on Amazon, and if they don't, then they know they're not gonna come back to buy from Amazon. So they wanna make sure their sellers are responding to customers. This is something that I do recommend outsourcing. You can hire a customer service rep in countries like the Philippines, India, other countries around the world where you don't have to pay them as much as you would versus paying someone in, let's say, North America, but they can handle the customer support for you. They might have some occasional questions for you that require your answer, which you might have to chime in for once a week or so. That, that might require a little bit of work, uh, not unless you hire a manager that can do that for you, okay? But that is something that will also be an ongoing responsibility. Other than that, guys, the only other thing that could require your time would be marketing, okay? Marketing your product. Now, there's many ways to market, but there's some ways that are more active, other ways that are more passive, okay? So, for example, a more passive way of, uh, you know, uh, 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 of marketing your product on Amazon, and I'm, by the way, I'm talking about outside of Amazon, like getting traffic from Facebook or Google or YouTube or whatever it might be. So some of my favorite ways are having a blog. Now a blog is something you're gonna create content on, articles, you're gonna write them up related to your product, and you're gonna learn how to rank them in the search engines in Google. And when you create enough of these articles, they're also kinda like these seeds that you plant. At first, nothing happens, you're getting no traffic, no visitors, but as you nurture it, you build it up, they rank in Google, and they consistently start attracting people from the search engines, and you funnel and link that to your product on Amazon. I've, for example, my business, I've got thousands of articles that I've published on my website like projectlifemastery.com, and a lot of them, they rank, I've got hundreds that rank in Google that consistently make, you know, get me thousands of visitors every month. I don't do anything, guys. It's just set it and forget it. Articles that I wrote, Five years, ago, five years ago that are still getting traffic and making me money. Same thing even with my YouTube channel, guys. I've got videos, for example, my channel, Project Life Mastery, we reach over 1.1 1, 1 .1 to 1.4 million views per month. And majority of that, guys, 89% of that is not my new videos or videos that I published a year ago, two years, three, four, five years ago, okay? Now, you might think, well, a blog, a YouTube channel, I've gotta consistently publish videos. Not necessarily. I could stop publishing videos and all those other videos I published before are still gonna get views and still make me money and still build my business. If I wanna grow, yeah, I have to publish more videos because otherwise it could slowly decline, but I don't have to publish more videos or publish more articles. It's pretty much I planted the seeds. These seeds have flourished and blossomed into trees and I've got a lot of these trees that keep providing for me. So content can be great for that, okay? Um, you know, running ads like pay-per-click advertising, Amazon ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, those do require a little bit of active work because you have to optimize them. But the other way that you can look at things, guys, is you can outsource a lot of this stuff too. If you wanna hire someone that can do this for you, they can run and manage that stuff for you. It really depends, you gotta ask yourself, how much do you wanna make? How big do you want your business to be? Because I know a lot of people out there they're completely happy and sufficient. Their Amazon business just making them $3,000 a month passive income. You know, they're fine with that. They don't need to have six figures, seven figures. They don't need to be millionaires. They're happy just that's a side thing that provides for them. Other people, you know what? They're happy making eight or nine or 10,000 a month and they just wanna maintain that. They don't have the ambition to keep growing it more. And for them, it's more about the lifestyle that it could provide for them. So you gotta get clear on how much, how big you want it to be. And, and create a system that can allow you to support that growth, um, just the maintenance and the growth of that business as well. So there are ways you can turn it into a passive business model. And that's the great thing about something like Amazon. And you, know, you can even have multiple products on Amazon as well under your brand. 
where you have many different products or are many different trees and seeds that you've planted that are providing that passive income for you. And now you're more diversified too, more secure. Because if something happens to one product and it drops and stops making as much, you still have the other products as well. So that should be the goal, is to build your business to, to be able to provide that passive income for you. Now, it is gonna take time to plant the seeds and to water them, and that's the time you're gonna put in, but you have to do so and believe in the vision, the potential of what it will therefore provide for you because you'll be able to reap the rewards and the benefits later. You have to just be willing to do the work up front and then just be willing to maintain it thereafter that, okay? If you're willing to do that, then you can be able to turn this into a great passive income model. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you and just kind of shares with you the strategy on how you can turn this into a, a passive income machine for you. Um, if you guys want more training on how to build an Amazon business, then go to www.projectlifemastery.com FBA. Put in your name and email there. I'll send you some more information on how to get started and how to build an Amazon business. I've got some new videos and trainings I'll be releasing as well to those that are subscribed to the email list. Make sure you check your spam folder as well and whitelist the email to ensure that you get my emails. Of course, subscribe here to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.